Hi, I'm Arnott. In this lesson, which forms part of our series of lessons on data handling, I want to revisit the data handling cycle, which you've been studying over the last many years. Throughout this year, I've made the point that we study mathematics in order to make sense of the world in which we live. We look for patterns so that we can make predictions. Data handling is concerned with looking for patterns in day-to-day situations. Data is collected by means of a cycle, the data handling cycle. And at each stage of the cycle, we make choices. Those choices impact on the conclusions that we can make from the information that we collect. And that's the point that I want to illustrate in the next three lessons. Before we get started, let's cross to Asanda and find out what questions the students with her have for us today. Hey guys, today we're at the Learning Channel Studios in Auckland Park and I am so excited to be here. What we've done is taken three of the best students at the five top schools we've been to, invited them here and we are ready to work. There's so much work to be done, I'm so excited and hey, it's time to meet the guys. Benoni High School, Westbridge High School, RW Frick High School, Princess High School and Florida Park. Hey guys, we're back and today we're going to be dealing with data handling and unfortunately it's our last study group session with the guys from RW Fick. But hey, we're not being sad, we're not focusing on the goodbyes, it's all about the work, right? No, it's not. I'm going to miss you guys. No. <laughs> it's hard to say goodbye, I understand. Did you have fun though? Yes, I did have fun. You see, that's all I want to hear. Did you learn a lot? Uh, yes. You did? Yes. You did. Okay, so hey, I'm expecting great marks from you in maths. Definitely you are. That's what you're going to see. I'm so happy. So I won't waste any more of your time because you're going to go ahead and ask your last question. Can we please use this three lessons to investigate bullying at schools? Well, Arnott, can we? Now that is an excellent idea. Why don't we do just that? Before we get started, let's link what we're doing to the curriculum. Data handling, more formally statistics, is the branch of mathematics concerned with collecting, organizing, summarizing, representing, and even misrepresenting data so that we can analyze it and draw conclusions or make predictions. Finally, the field also deals with probability. Our attempts to express in numbers the likelihood of a particular outcome of an event. In this lesson and the two lessons that follow, I want to look at each of the stages of the data handling cycle and show how the choices we make at each stage impact on the final conclusions we can draw. The data handling cycle is a well-defined sequence of activities that we engage in in order to answer a question, often to solve a problem. The data handling cycle can be represented by this diagram here. The point made in the diagram is that we collect data in order to resolve a problem. The first thing we do is to ask a question. Having established the question that we want to answer, we collect data. Having collected the data, the next thing that we do is organize the data, which involves organizing, summarizing, and representing the data. And finally, we interpret the data in terms of the question that we posed in the first place. The first thing we need is a question. And in light of the request that came from the students at the beginning of the lesson, I've decided to phrase the question as follows. Is there bullying in our school? And I've decided to focus this question with two further questions. Is the bullying more significant in some grades than in others? And is it more significant among boys or girls? That leaves me with having to choose an appropriate sample. When conducting research such as this, we're left with 
two choices. Either we involve all of the students in the school, in which case we're involved with what's called a census, or we select a sample. We involve just some of the students in the school. Now this introduces three key ideas. The first is a population. We define a population as the collection of all the items about which we want to know something. And then we have the words census and sampling. A census involves collecting information about every member of a given population. And because this is often impractical, we resort to sampling, where sampling involves selecting a part of a population with the purpose of making conclusions about the whole population. In order to be able to make conclusions about the whole population based on the characteristics of the sample, it's very important that the sample is what we call representative. This means that the characteristics of the sample are as similar to the characteristics of the population as is reasonably possible. What I'd like you to do is to think about our problem and to think about how we could ensure that the sample is as representative of the population as possible.